Excel. Okay, welcome everybody to the June 17th edition of the APAC Community Call. Um, this edition, we're actually going, well, our topic here is talking about OMOP projects. So our agenda today is some news from Odyssey Global, as well as a presentation from uh, Professor Liu Lei uh, from Fudan University of Shanghai talking about applying the OMOP CDM to their clinical data research uh, database in uh, Zhongshan Hospital, Fudan University. So before we turn it over to the professor, I wanted to give you an update on Odyssey. So the one thing that uh, I want to mention, the collaboration, collaborator showcase is closing on June 18th, so this Friday, the deadline. For you guys, I think it's June 19th in the morning at 5 a.m. or so. Um, but if you guys uh, want to put your papers or posters into the global community, um, please make sure you submit them. Uh, you can go to the 2021 symposium here and collaboration showcase information here. The only thing that's due is the abstract. The poster itself is not due, just the abstract. So if you guys have an interest, please fill out the uh, template, the tradition that you see here. Uh, fill out the abstract. It's it's a lot simpler now. It's one format. It's about uh, either two, uh, two pages or so, so you can see here either a maximum of this or a certain size. Um, so feel free. If you have any questions on this, let me know. Or if you need a minor extension, email um, Elise at odyssey.org and she may be able to give you that minor extension. Okay. Um, and then the, uh, the committee, the scientific review committee, will be reviewing these starting the 18th through the 26th. Uh, we get, based, I'm part of the community, what we get, or the committee, what we get is we get a series of them, we rank them, uh, somebody else also gets the same one that I review and we rank them. And based on that, we decide who gets to be part of the collaboration showcase. And then that will be announced to you guys on August. Second, if you do participate in, and then it'll give you all the deadlines on when you need to actually submit the actual poster. So this is for the symposium 2021, the global one, which is in September, I believe the 15th through the 18th. So please remember, if you still want to do it, feel free to put one through. If you need help, um, even how to put it through, let me know. Uh, I can give you guidelines. I can help you with some of that stuff as well. So. The 18th, Friday the 18th, no more than 8 p.m. So for the Asia side, that's the next day, 7 p.m., 8, 8, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., or 6 a.m., whatever time zone you're on, okay? Any questions with the presentation or the submission for the collaboration showcase? Cool. The last two weeks, what they covered in the community call, um, the week prior, they actually did a little bit about um, – Tutorials, uh, they did th three tutorials, one on um, CB, one on the core diagnostic tool, on, and then Christian talked about ATC hierarchy and how they're taking ATC and uh, restructuring that and reorganizing that to match better with Rx norms. So if you have an interest listening to all that, feel free. Uh, as you can see here also, this looks like our Korean colleagues. They have another publication that they just put out recently into the Journal of Clinical Medication. So congratulations to the Korean team for doing another publication out there. Um, last This past week, what they did is we did a breakout group. Um, and what it was, it's, it's really what we call professional development day. So people want to understand how they can professionally develop themselves inside these different areas. Um, so there was a clinical epidemiology one, an information and data management one, open source software development one, and statistical methods. Um, I actually moderated this one. Uh, honestly, what we talked about in there was not too much about professional development, but we got a lot of questions asking, uh, how does one get started if they're new to OMOP and they want to take their data over to the uh, OMOP format? We did get some questions from a professional development uh, point of view, like what is the best degree? To, to have if you want to go to information and data management. Is it data scientists? Is it engineering? Is it IT? What was it, right? And what type of people do they look for? So uh, we did talk a little bit about that. Um, so those are kind of the topics that were discussed in the last two weeks. Again, if you want to listen to any of that, you can get to the recording uh, that are down here. 
and listen to it and you know hear all the different conversations. All four sessions were recorded, so you can listen to that. And you can see here, there's another pub, uh, publication that just went out as well on the JM, uh, JM, uh, JMJ, uh, BMJ, blah, tongue twister, um, from uh, Columbia University and other folks, okay? So if you're interested in reading that, feel free. Anybody got any questions? Okay, if not, I will turn it over to Professor Liu Lei. Professor? Uh, yes. Um, OK, so I'm going to start. Um, so I need to uh, share my screen. OK, can I see the screen? OK, good. OK, so uh, thank you uh, th uh, for inviting me to uh, give a presentation. <coughs> um, I think this is uh, uh, a small work we, uh, we're doing right now, so we're still not complete yet. So we just uh, today just talk about uh, some of the, I guess, the plans we're doing and then uh, uh, the problems, you, you know, we're, we're encountering. So, OK. Um, so first about this, uh, um, the data we're, we're dealing with. Um, so Zhongshan Hospital is uh, the largest uh, hospital affiliated with uh, Fudan University. And the, 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 the disease we're tackling right now is this uh, uh, liver cancer. So um, basically uh, we try to build a clinical research database uh, through the, all this data collected from a, uh, the hospital information systems <clears throat> and and then through the uh, NLP um, tools and try to uh, uh, organize the, the data for, for, for the further uh, future research and the total uh, record or the total the people in uh, you know patients in the in the in this uh, study is about 120,000 and then over the past 10 years. And so just the, some, some basic information about the, the data. So um, each record is about 3,000, I guess 3,000 different uh, um, parameters and, and including the, the patient information and the surgery and, and diagnosis. Uh, pathology information and, and other treatments and lab test, uh, immunohistochemistry, uh, radiology follow-ups. So, including all these uh, different categories, there's about a total of about three thousand, more than three thousand, um, the data points, <coughs> and they're all in Chinese. It's a it's a Chinese record. So, and and the hospital. Um, where this is a uh, sorry about we didn't translate this uh, picture and uh, everything is in Chinese, but I can explain a little bit. So the the basically the the bottom the purple ones are the different systems uh, in the hospital. Uh, you can see there are his there are these packs and different systems, and those data collected and then in the middle middle part uh, we're doing um, the ETL you know the uh, try to. Uh, extract the information and but this part I haven't finished yet it's just uh, we're still doing this part uh, and then on the on the top the green part is the where we're gonna uh, build some application uh, basically research uh, analysis or uh, some um, application to help the clinicians so so that's the basic scheme where we're, we're following so we're right now in the middle of the I guess this part and, and uh, the, this part for uh, for the ETLs. <clears throat> so basically, the, uh, it's an ETL project, um, and it's uh, initiated uh, by the uh, university, um, the Fudan Medical, no, the Shanghai Medical College of Fudan University, and the Zhongshan Hospital. So both sides. So we, you know, from my my position is in the in the medical college. And, and we have collaborators in 
in in the hospital. So we try to use uh, try to to build this. Uh, I mean, to try to map everything through the ETL um, to the OMAP model. So that's the basic idea. And the critical questions we try to answer this just to give it on the right hand side. We give it like three, you know, typical questions because the data is from the uh, the surgery department. So most of the people will work with uh, surgeons. So they're interested in, you know, like the uh, the, the first question is uh, anatomical and an uh, non anatomical, you know, uh, hepatic uh, uh, resection for the liver cancer. And we're, you know, just compare this for the for the survival analysis. And there are some different uh, locations. You know, there's a surgical resection and, and local non-surgical therapy comparisons. And and also the uh, I guess the different ways to doing the uh, the surgery. You know, open uh, versus the uh, using the uh, laparoscopic the the scope uh, to to do the surgery. So so third. So they're most of their their interest in in how to help uh, their uh, surgery or help uh, the treatment. <clears throat> Continue. Okay. Well, so uh, we're basically uh, using the CDM version six. That's the I guess everybody is already in, see this picture and knows about the the details about it. So right. And the, the problem is the, <clears throat> the main thing is the one thing is to uh, we try to map to this uh, model and also the vocabulary. The, the main thing is about the vocabulary, the standard vocabulary to be able to uh, um, make it mapping to the uh, either the SNOMAD or ICD, this type of uh, international uh, uh, standards. Well, this is uh, I guess from the uh, training course, right? So it's uh, how the ETL process. So we're following this uh, process. Uh, basically, we have uh, data experts and we also have uh, clinical experts who work, uh, work with us. And then to create the ETL document and then the, the implement the, the ETL process. And then this is like a, a reiterate. The, there are some many, many cycles to, to make this uh, uh, the data uh, finally mapped to the to the to the model. So there's uh, <clears throat> two uh, sides for this uh, ETL process. One is a syntactic. So basically, the the structures. So make sure the structures. This is a this is the original um, data we we have. So this is a uh, uh, different uh, I guess uh, uh, data points, and then and then semantically those are the values. For each data points, right? So, um, then we need to. What we need to do is to try to, you know, from the the left hand side, try to extract and transfer, and then become the standard. There's a syntactic that the, the structure is the same of the the, the CDM model, the OMAP model, and also the the semantic. I have to map the semantic or the the content of the uh, the data to the standard. Uh, terms. <clears throat> so then we create a three task forces basically. So one is for the for the sy syntactic team. So they basically they're, they're focused on the, the structures, how the how the current database structures, you know, uh, map to the to the OMAP models the structures. And then there's a semantic team. So semantic team is to responsible for all the uh, standard terms to make sure the the coding and also the terms we're using um, are mapping to the standards. And then there's the IT support team, which is uh, providing the, the, the basic support, the, the, the database support, all this uh, hardware support, all this. <coughs> so so, uh, so next we're going to, you know, each team, we're going to talk about each team's work. So for the syntactic team task, uh, basically on the uh, Left hand side, this side is the original data. So we, we kind of review those hospital data structures and to see how many, uh, I guess, the data points uh, and then the, how many tables, right? And generate the documents and rules to how to, which, which data, uh, which uh, the data points map to the OMAP models because OMAP models have different 
different table structures, right? So and those table structures make sure they're they're mapped uh, well. So like this. So um, you know, on this side, they're Chinese. You know, it's they seem Chinese, but uh, on the the right hand side, you know, the OVA model has become English uh, based. So there was a patient IDs, and the patient IDs is mapped to the uh, the present source IDs, right? So and there is a um, gender, there is a different identification numbers, age, and, and all this. So that's how we, we map, you know, to map the, the data structure, the database structure from uh, the original database to the OMAP models. <coughs> and for the semantic teams, their task is, is actually to translate, you know, the terms into English first. And then to to try to find the, the right uh, terms, either ICD or SOMAD uh, or you know ARCS norm, so different uh, internationally known standards, right? So so and then generating the the, the coding, right? generating the coding. So so this part is like this. So this is an example. So um, if you look at this uh, this table, uh, all these Chinese terms, they are the the ones with in the original database, they are in Chinese terms. And then uh, there's a concept IDs, domain IDs, concept class IDs, uh, vocabulary IDs. So where are they coming from? So they all come to map to the to, those, to the SNOMAD, right? So there are different uh, 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 classes and, and, and groups in the SNOMAD and then the, the concept ID to map, map to. So that's generate. <coughs> Uh, the SQL uh, statement and try to implement the SQL, SQL statement and, and then to move the, the data into the, the new model, the new uh, uh, OMAP model database. And the IT team's task to prepare the, you know, all this uh, basically hardware support, right? The servers and, and then the, the, the build, the actually build the physical those tables and implement the standard uh, vocabularies and deploy all these uh, tools, you know, from the from the Odyssey and and then generate test test data to make sure all the systems are working, right? So and that's how the uh, the IT supporting teams work. So and then basically the you know the, the the first two are the ones who are doing the the documents to to, to design and to do the the mapping itself, and then the IT team will actually implement the, the actual code. OK, and then and then there is a, uh, the fourth part. Basically, we have to do the quality control to make sure the whole process, you know, from the uh, syntactic uh, to the semantic, uh, all this mapping, all this translation are correct and, 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 and test. And, and then uh, to, to have to test the whole the results and then also the um, the pipeline. We have this uh, pipeline from the you know from the um, the mapping and then the, the SQL generate and, and then the, the, the test runs right. So if it's everything goes well, then to pass the test, then we can start the uh, the batch process and the batch process finished. We're going to check again and then make sure uh, the results are, uh, are correct. OK, now so so that's the plan and then we're implementing right now the, doing this um, uh, this uh, ETL process, but the next we're going to talk about the problems. So really there's uh, we encounter a series uh, different kind of problems uh, which uh, we we have to solve and not every problem has been solved yet. So. And first of all, is the language, right? So everything is in Chinese, the original data, and there's none, there are no code, no code data. Basically, there is no code, uh, no ICD code, no SNOMAD code, no this code, no code. So I have to uh, make the code coding again. So, um, and, and there are Chinese, uh, you know, Odyssey the vocabulary, there are Chinese uh, uh, version, which is uh, uh, Odyssey China uh, concepts. This, uh, uh, I guess, movie and Akubia uh, did a lot of work on that. Um, but we find uh, in practically, you know, our data mapping to that concepts, uh, there are discrepancies and there is a, um, 
lot of uh, different, I mean, the, the, the criminalities problems, you know, there are concepts which does not exist and there's concepts which is uh, cannot match, right? So, so we need to uh, uh, really to go into the to the details to see the, the every terms um, uh, have to be checked. So, right. So, uh, that's the uh, the tedious work, which is uh, um, you know we have uh, let's say three thousand you know different data points and then hundreds uh, hundred twenty thousand uh, records or patients. So that's a lot, lot of work to check. And the, the main thing, so I can, you know, if I elaborate on this, uh, is that we, we call it the, the granularity problems, which is if you look at this picture, because this is a, a, a surgical process, mostly surgeons, you know, the data collect from the uh, surgery department. So they're really looking to the, the how they, they did the surgery, right? So that's how this is the liver. And then when they do the surgery, they, they actually to uh, make the the liver different parts. There are different parts, and then when during their surgery, they have to to really uh, to see which part they're they're cutting right there, um, and also there's a, a blood vessel structures. There's a, a other structures involved. So, so then they have very very detailed uh, recording on how they did the. The, sur the surgery, right? So, you know, where they cut and how much they cut, all this, this all recorded in the original the text the, in Chinese on the, on the left hand side. But when we when we map this to the SNOMED or to the ICD, there are problems. So basically, the, the on the ICD or SNOMED uh, uh, CT, they don't go that deep, right? They, they don't they don't have the detail. They only have this uh, uh, the, the, for the standard uh, SNOMED term, they only have this. Uh, uh, basically, they, they say this, this is just uh, by surgery, the, the treatment. So, so you don't you you cannot all these uh, uh, details about the surgery. It's not re to record it cannot map to the to the, the standard terms, right? So, so we can we can go up basically to the. Just add, you know, map everything into just the the the, the, the liver surgery, you know? but then the, all this information is is missing, or we can do just uh, ignore it. So then the data is, you know, we cannot map anything. So that's the I guess that's the main problem we're we're facing right now. The um, when we do this uh, semantic mapping and then everything in the the details um, cannot map. So in this case, we're planning basically to expand the the vocabulary in in this case in this uh, liver uh, surgery, uh, liver cancer surgery. This, this part. So so basically, we're gonna have all these details. You know, different different sections of the liver. We can we can code that, and I'm sure there. You know, in the in the other uh, ontologies, um, the anatomic ontologies probably they have this. Uh, uh, just the different sections we can use, um, and then uh, how they did it, you know, we also can can expand that the vocabulary. So can um, I ask a question here? Yes, Are please. you guys not using the oncology extension or even the modifiers? Because I I mm. think a lot of this is that's, covered that's, in the oncology well, that, extension. Yeah, that that would be great. So we haven't used that yet. So so we we don't actually we haven't seen the. Um, Ontology, uh, about oncology. This uh, the the vocabulary you mentioned. So we we we're looking to that. So and then uh, to see how how we can is that gonna match or not. So you're right. So well, I, I think we we need to look into the oncology part. So would that's it not... help if I had somebody introduce you to it as well as show you how it's done? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. But another thing is a. Uh, Basically, that's in English, right? So you still have translation problems as well. No, so. it's okay. I'll have someone Chinese talk to you. Well, I'm not saying about the, the talk. It's I'm ah. talking about the vocabulary itself. Yes, the vocabulary itself. Yes, you would still have to do the yeah, mapping. You have to, Agreed. That's, okay. trans, that's translation. Yeah. You, know, you know, if you look at the translation, you know, the Chinese uh, part when they talk about the terms and the English terms, they, even in oncology, the, the um, 
I'm not sure if it's a match, so we'll have to rebuild the Chinese part as well. But we can yeah, make a map. Yeah, that would make sense. Right, but we can make a mapping, so mm -hmm. that, that's what we think. So yeah, okay, that's a that's a good point. So if you can, you know, connect me to with them, so that that's gonna help. Yep. Well, basically, so um, the the another challenge is uh, NLP, basically. So if you look at this, uh, um, the the record in the database for so this is a detailed about the history, you know, how how this patients. The, the history and that's a, the all in text and then there is a um, surgery history also in, in text so in the free text so we have to to extract all the information we need to through this and and Chinese uh, NLP is different from English NLP so there are some some challenges but we have a lot of people actually you know different uh, universities, uh, we have a like a, a small society which is focused on the medical Chinese medical uh, uh, NLP. So, so that's also something, some effort we have to to make. Um, well, I guess uh, that's that's all I have to talk about. You know, it's still we're, we're it's still working process, um, facing challenges, and we need to solve a lot of problems. So, okay, any questions? So, I have to say this is great work to see the, you know, uh, some, uh, some a lot of this activity going on in China and watching you guys taking some such a database and moving it to OMOP. And I'm sure there's challenges to it too. I see a lot of people clapping their hands. Um, so, uh, but it's great to share. And like I said, I will connect you to um, some of the oncology folks who can give you guys a, um, brief tutorial of oncology and maybe uh, they, you can talk to them about their, your problem and they can give you a solution. But like you said, you're going to have to do the, the Chinese to English mapping, right? But right, maybe right. there's a way that they can help yes. with some yes. of that. So, Right. Yeah, that'd be great. Yes, yes. Awesome. Anyone else got any questions for Professor Lele? Or anybody working in similar areas of onto yeah, oncology and having some challenges there? Yeah, any suggestions or any? Uh, yeah. Hi, Professor uh, Liu Lei. Uh, yeah. So the two key challenge for uh, ETL is, is firstly NLP processing, and the second is vocabulary mapping. Correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, how many percent of this kind of uh, challenge uh, would take in the in all of your work? I mean, to key challenge, I mean, ten percent or five percent or. Uh, well, I think I guess you know uh, the, the vocabulary mapping uh, and the NLPs they probably both they're gonna take up ninety percent of our effort. Right, so so ninety percent, yeah, ninety percent. So so basically, wow. that's the most challenge, most challenging uh, problems we're facing. If we don't have this, uh, uh, you know, if we can solve that one, but I think you know, if we solve once, probably we can solve. So that that's you know, uh, then for others it, it will be easier. So so we need to. Uh, Accumulate a lot of experience, and we need a central uh, uh, management standard to overcome all these challenges, right? That's right. So I, I think also for the you know even in Chinese the the liver cancer for the liver cancer the Chinese they don't have um, a standard vocabulary yet so for the for the, uh, the Particular disease, so we we also try to uh, make uh, a standard vocabulary for the liver cancer in Chinese. So that's something uh, we we try to do. So so once we have that uh, standard vocabulary, may help to uh, to solve the problems we're facing right now. So so uh, collaboration in uh, Odyssey tools. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, what uh, uh, Odyssey vocabulary tools would be a 
good practice, good practice to help generating this standard, right? Yes. So we have a, you know, uh, we have this uh, uh, Odyssey China, this chapter, and their uh, effort try to make uh, a Chinese vocabulary uh, in in Odyssey and to uh, to, to as as you mentioned, right, to to solve this. And but that's also is it's a community effort. So we we have a group of we have a small group of people right now is working on that. Um, and but the thing is, if we want to go to the details, we have to do it uh, disease by disease. Um, but we all, you know, for the for the general structure, we have one. We probably have one based on the SNOMED and uh, ICD. So for the for the Chinese vocabularies. So yeah. Okay. So the main effort is still in. A medical domain, not in IT tools domain, right? No, no, no. It's not IT problems. It's a, it's a, it's this vocabulary. It's the semantic problems. Uh, I think semantic problems is, is more challenging. So yeah. Okay. So any means to, uh, to, to uh, help more people to uh, contribute to this vocabulary standard. A mapping generation. Yes, we 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 uh, we were were calling volunteers, you know, in in Odyssey China, the community to to calling volunteers to help us to uh, develop the vocabulary uh, in in Chinese. So uh, we we have some. We have uh, physicians uh, join us. We also, I think, mostly physicians and data scientists, can, you know, okay. to work together, work together to to build this. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Professor Liu Lei. I think uh, you are doing a very important pioneer uh, uh, contribution for this domain. Uh, personally, I'm, personally, yes. I'm a IT background uh, uh, engineer. So if anything, I may help. Uh, I have uh, more than 10 years of data warehousing experience, but I do not know medical much. So if any IT challenge, uh, I mean how I would uh, uh, like to do what I can do. Great, thank you. Thank you for your Wonderful. question. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Are you on the China WeChat group? Uh, I'm in uh, WeChat group and I have also uh, uh, also a uh, proposal that to be added into the ETL uh, volunteer group. Yeah. Oh, great. Great. That's what I was going to ask if you wanted to volunteer to be added into that group. So that's great. That's great to hear because we would love to get more folks who can, uh, you know, help with ETL questions and stuff like that in the China yes. working group. So wonderful. OK, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions for the professor? Well, I want to say thank you, uh, Professor, for your wonderful presentation. Very insightful and wonderful see, to see progress in uh, China, especially with the amount of data you guys have. Um, we do not have a second presenter um, for today, so we're going to give you guys the time back. 